Hello everybody, this is Susie here once again reporting for the One Love Caravan. We are reporting now from Algeciras. Um, I don't know if you, just to keep you updated here, uh, we are on a humanitarian journey, which is also a pilgrimage to Ethiopia. And we are in South Spain, Algeciras, as um, I mentioned already because we are trapped in Europe. Uh, at this point, we cannot go to Africa and uh, we've been uh, struggling to get out of Europe for the last one and a half year almost and have, uh, have been stranded in Spain um, trying to, to go to the other side to cross the Mediterranean. So uh, last time we, we've been to Gibraltar um, to try to recover the world passport. So uh, I did a, um, a complaint by the tribunal, by the judge, so that uh, the judge could help me to recover my passport. And um, we talked to some associations, to some lawyers. They gave me a letter also to hand in at the police station uh, at La Linea asking to, to have my documents back. So when we got to La Linea, um, there was a bunch of lies being told by the police. They said the passport was at the courthouse, others said the passport was in Madrid, and others said the passport was at the border. So we started an investigation to try to find out where the passport was. So um, we went to the police uh, commissary and uh, we talked to the, they said we, we would have to talk to the specialists from the, the foreign, foreign police. So they looked at the, the, the case, you know, the, and they said, oh no, no, this passport has no validity, so, uh, validity, so uh, you will get your passport back. But uh, yeah, we don't know where it is, and uh, they were, you know, trying to to uh, divert a bit the attentions from from the real thing. And um, and then I wanted to hand in the letter. They didn't want to 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 receive the letter. They were trying to to put some blockages. But um, in the end, I, I could manage to enter the commissary and hand the letter, which is supposed to be read by the, the, the chief of the police. Um, and uh, then they, they have to give me an answer within three months' time. Um, so um, then we went to the border again, and uh, we tried to talk to the responsible to, to find out who, who gave the order for my, my passport to be removed and um, there was, it was very awkward because first Daniel went there and talked to the whole police, uh, the border station and uh, they were kind of uh, uh, insecure because uh, Daniel was telling them about the human rights and about uh, all the illegalities being committed and they were a bit uh, apprehensive, they didn't know how to deal with the situation so they say, yeah, 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 we have the passport. Uh, the first they said it was in Madrid, but then in the end, okay, uh, we don't know what you're talking about, but we will try to find out. And then uh, they said, okay, call the, the lady, me, so that I can go there and pick up the passport. So they meant, yeah, the passport was going to be handed uh, back to me. So then Daniel went away, he told me, yeah, you can go there and pick up your passport. Uh, and I went there and uh, the police guy was very nice and he was telling me that he's sorry for all the inconvenience, that normally they remove uh, passports that are not national documents and that they don't know. But in my case, because I have the, the proof of authenticity of the document and because I I'm a human rights act activist and all this. They're going to give the passport back to me. But uh, usually they remove, but uh, yeah, we, they are sorry and everything. So in the meantime, when the, the police secretary was doing all the, the, the paperwork, um, the chief of the, the border was walking around very nervous, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And then in the end he called um, 
uh, the other policeman who was uh, supposed to give me back the passport and, uh, and, and, and he told him to inform me that my passport was not going to be given back. I was very shocked and I asked if, if it's supposed to be a joke because five minutes ago you were so sorry and now all of a sudden, no, no, the passport is not going to be handed back. And he said the chief of the police would come to me and explain me what happened. So, um, and then the chief of the police came and I asked, so uh, what happened? Uh, you're going to give the passport and now all of a sudden uh, you're not going to give it back? I, I want an explanation. So he said, no, 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 we're not going to give him back the passport. The passport is going to go to Madrid. This is the first time we apprehend this type of document. And uh, it's a fictional document. And since you showed it at the border, we are allowed to remove it from you. And now it's going to be sent to Madrid. And uh, that's it. I was like, well, what do you mean it's going to be sent to Madrid? The passport was there, you know. I saw it, you know. It was in his hand and they were going to give it to, to me. But then, uh, I don't know, some kind of evil energy got into the, the chief of the police and he, he was afraid also of doing something wrong and he was one and a half months with a passport there. He was supposed to, to investigate, research and do all the accreditation that he needed to find out if I'm not being searched by the Interpol or something like that. But apparently they didn't do anything. So. Um, yeah, when, when I was about to get my passport back, he said that he was going to do all the things that he should have done one and a half months before. So then I asked, uh, so how can I get my passport back? He said, I don't know. Uh, but uh, is it in Madrid? Uh, should I write, it? should I address the, the, the interior ministry, the, min the ministry for in interior in 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 affairs? Or who, who should I contact? He said, I don't know. You should come to the police station, to the border at Gibraltar, every week, and ask what's wrong with the passport. Oof, I, I was not amused, and I told him that this is completely legal what you're doing, and that the migration policy is completely uh, criminal, and uh, this is all going to come up, so they, 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 they just should stop doing what they're doing and act as a human beings that no one is superior to anyone so we are just the same and um, but he didn't care he was just yeah yeah right um, that's it your passport is gonna be sent to Madrid and you cannot get it back so um, I was uh, I must confess I was very disappointed because it was this close, like it was just there and they, they, they were already, the guy wrote the, the paper saying that the, you know, the passport is not with them anymore and it's going to be handed back, but then the chief of the border blocked the whole thing and um, yeah, I'm still without a passport. I asked help from many organizations, the Red Cross, um, Algeciras uh, Sepaim were the only ones that wrote the letters so that I can give at the commissary. But under my name, they're not representing me. They just helped me with a with the right uh, uh, vocabulary and, and and a proper Spanish uh, uh, you know written uh, letter. So um, yeah, I'm still you know without document and um, we're still. go to, to Portugal to, to arrange for national documents, so I, I need my Portuguese passport, Daniel needs a Swiss passport, and my child also would have a, a Portuguese passport, because I, I am the mother, so I, I will give uh, her my, my nationality. And uh, at this point we have no diesel and we, we, yeah, we are gathering funds to, 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 to reach Portugal. I have a friend who is helping me with the paperwork there for, for my child so that she, she has the family book and all the, the certificates and everything. And um, yeah, this is the situation right now. Um, 
I'm, I'm doing some raids to, to try to get some funds and we're trying to sell some stuff because we have a lot of stuff that you wanted to bring to Africa but now um, yeah the situation is a bit different and we don't know when we can uh, you know cross this trecho we really don't know it might take some months still three months six months we don't know it's all depending on all this bureaucratic uh, stuff and on the funds we need to drive there to pay for all the passports and uh, and then start all over because now we've been stopped but it's God's plan anyway so I, I have to be thankful that I'm healthy I'm gonna post another video about the health so that uh, because uh, I, I've seen many people with diseases and uh, and um, yeah no one seems to care about the health and people just eat all the poison and uh, they spend all their money the, the you know the cost of living is, is is getting higher people spending all their money to get sick you know and uh, you get sick on the mind you get sick on your body you know the whole spirit gets sick and and then yeah there's no <laughs> no solution so um yeah stay tuned yeah thanks so much for watching this video Please support this cause because we really have a, a, a good heart, you know. We really, we really want to do good things for Africa because Africa has been just mistreated, you know. All the resources have been stolen from there, and uh, now it's really the time because Europe is is in a very, very uh, serious situation, you know. And uh, and probably it won't take much long until big big crisis and 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 war reach this point over here so um, at this time we want to be very far we want to be in Africa already and we want to um, to help the people down there help them with our knowledge help them with uh, some useful items as well and learn 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 about uh, our roots about being a human being, about being a natural being, you know, belonging to the, the cosmic laws and the universal laws and um, living in harmony with the, with the, the natural flow of energy. So, um, yeah, <laughs> help us out here. Uh, we really need... Um, we really need all, all the support you can give, if you can give us some donations, if you can donate also um, food items, or if you have an idea, you know, where we could uh, um, stay for a while, you know, because we are just on the streets, on a, on a parking place, and um, it might take some months until we, we can uh, exit. Europe, so um, we would like to be in a in a safe place with the land and with people surrounding us, with kind of the same uh, ideology and the same uh, uh, vision for the world and for the future. So uh, if you are in South Spain and if you have any tips for us, let us know. Yeah, and uh, stay tuned. We will keep you updated on what is next to do. Thank you so much for watching this video. Bless you all. See you soon.